So, um, you know, I mean, can you explain what that is to us? Certainly. So the mental health courts are set up to deal with not just the, 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 the problems that occur, for instance, in this case, a stabbing or, or more often a robbery, but the, the, you know, the reasons, the causes for it. Uh, in this case, it sounds like, you know, serious mental illness. The mental health courts don't get used in certain cases. In other words, if the, if the case is violent enough, and I'm surprised that a stabbing case would actually get to mental health courts, um, then very often the, 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 that punishment won't fit the crime. Because the mental health courts also don't have the ability to order someone into a lockdown mental health facility against their will. It becomes more of a voluntary situation at that point. Now, the alternative to a mental health court can often be for the person going to state prison. The problem is if they truly are suffering from a mental health crisis, they're probably not in the best mind to make a, a rational decision. 